you know, both the community celebration and the shop and hop are going on right now. We do encourage you to visit both. There's a lot going on at them. There's lots of free things and lots of goodies. Uh, the shop and hop uh, this time is the biggest that we've ever done. It's 20 regions. There's 400 stores in the event. Um, they all have some amazing free gifts. There's a couple of my love. Um, so by all means, check those out. Check out the free items. Check out the stuff they have on special. Um, there's really something for everyone there. Um, there's, uh, of course, the community celebration is going on. Uh, check that out. Uh, a lot of our communities have created builds um, to celebrate their part of Second Life. It's great to look at. Um, you'll also see a number of amazing performances, um, live acts and DJs and so forth at the stages. Uh, the stage that uh, Walton Wainwright made, the, the Steamworks, is really something amazing. All the builds just are so great this year. Um, also, um, at the Arboretum there, uh, we are having the Meet the Lindens talks. Uh, we've had a couple of them so far uh, with uh, Oberwolf and Philip, and also with Patch. Uh, there's one coming up this afternoon. There'll be ones throughout the rest of the week, actually. Um, so those are always great. You'll usually get a lot of information out of those. Um, so by all means, check those out. Um, we also have a bunch of new last names that uh, we've released for, yeah, marketing team is today, um, for the event. Um, these include Blakewell, Chataway, Devonius, Hogwood, Ligon, Filbert, Stiverus, Throgmorton, Whipple, and Cogtail. Um, you can find out about the new last names and other information about the names at uh, that in that blog post. Um, additionally, uh, SLB uh, is running uh, from now to July 5th. Uh, and you'll find links to just everything going on, um, all the different events and venues and so forth um, in that blog post. Uh, you know, there's there's so much that I couldn't I could sit here all day typing out the locations. So by all means, check that out. And I agree, uh, Clifton's a good last name. But uh, yeah, check out SL nineteen B while it's running. Um, there's a lot. There's a lot to see at it. I think you'll have fun. Take a flat white, please. Has uh, anyone gotten a chance to uh, um, visit so far at 19B? Seen anything that uh, is interesting that you wanted to share? Or any questions you had about 19B thus far? Yeah, the shop and hop's pretty amazing this year. I think the storefronts have been really, really nice. Uh, excellent presentations by uh, all the creators. Businesses just look really well organized. Uh, texture use is at a minimum, so pretty much walk into most of them without any issue, even on um, eye setting. So. A lot of effort, a lot of time and uh, attention and it was put into the uh, presentation. They're all different. They're all unique. Uh, a lot of them are offering sales, and you know, in real life, I, I'll go for anything with a sale, <laughs> even, I, even if I don't need it. So. <laughs> um, I totally, I think that if, you're, if you are an exhibitor, um, you should be able to change them on your parcel. Um, I'm not sure on that, but I'm pretty certain. I know that there's still a lot of the settings that are available. I noticed a lot of people are uh, using custom EAPs this year. It's really neat to see. I know that it was fairly new still um, last SLB, so you didn't necessarily see a lot of it. But uh, this year it seems like 
like every every other parcel there's there's a different EAP setting up there's even one that i saw um that was giving away um all the EAP settings they used on their parcel which was really quite nice Yeah, I seem to. It was called something like a skin tower or whatnot. It's a it's a large kind of square tower made of beams. Um, that one you find that one. It's got a little ocean in front. Um, I think it might be in. I don't remember. It might be in Electrify, but don't quote me on that because I'm not sure. I'll get you that link, Loki. We have a uh, complete breakdown of all the exhibitors. Let me see. Scroll up and find it. Susie, there is. Um, Ivana Landfair and another resident have uh, put out the, the avapods, and they are going around. Um, all of the parcels, all the uh, on the SLB regions. Um, leave. Take a look here. I personally had to fight using those transportations because I keep going. Oh, I have to remember to go see that one. Oh, I got to remember to go see that one. And then by the time I'm done, I'm like, which ones did I want to go see? I believe that that's where um, the pods originate from in the uh, in stand. So moving on, one of the biggest announcements to come out of the um, Meet the Linden series so far has been the announcement of Premium Plus. Finally here. So we know a lot of you have been waiting uh, with bated breath on the details, and we have a full blog post that's going to be coming later this week. Uh, but we wanted to go over some of the details uh, that Patch mentioned the other day um, that we can share with you guys in case you missed it. Um, so Premium Plus will include an enhanced stipend and sign-up bonus uh, with the weekly stipend at 650 linens and the sign-up bonus at 3,000. There will be a 2048 land allotment. That's uh, pretty much double uh, what the standard offers, which is going to be pretty cool to see. Now, while you're only going to be able to hold a 1024 linen home, you are going to be given that additional 1024 to use elsewhere. And there will likely be 2048 linen homes uh, in the future. Additionally, there will be an option for choosing a specific linen home rather than choosing one via the random assignment as you go through right now. You go to the linen home selection page, uh, you choose your style and the system will automatically uh, choose the linen home for you. One thing to keep in mind about that Linden Home choice, uh, it is on an ad hoc uh, first come first serve basis. Uh, it has to be on a parcel that is currently available, which means it, obviously it can't be owned by another resident. Uh, and it can't be on a region that currently hasn't been released uh, as a Linden Home region yet. So if it's still in the preview mode and you can see it, but you can't pick any parcels on it, you can't 
claim uh, one to be yours uh, ahead of time. If we get any requests for, you know, a Linden home reservation on region XYZ that isn't available, we're just going to respond to that saying, hey, I'm sorry, we can't fulfill those until such time as the region's released, at which point you'll need to submit a new ticket. But one other thing that we want to make sure that everybody's aware of, since this is going through a ticketing system, you don't really want to try and reserve like the last parcel available in a region uh, just because you like it uh, so much because it may take a couple of days for that ticket to go through in which case somebody will have grabbed that parcel by then so I just want you to try to manage expectations in that respect uh, I would suggest going you know hey these are the three parcels that I like uh, in this region here um, that is available or hey I want to be in this region uh, any um Quote, let's say you're looking for a houseboat, uh, any houseboat that's in the style of such and such or that's uh, against land and adjacent uh, to open water or whatever kind of parameters you have, the more open, the more likely we'll be able to assist you when we get to the ticket rather than uh, just saying, I want this specific one and there's only two available left in this region, in which case somebody will probably have grabbed that up before we actually got to the ticket. Hopefully that makes sense. Not trying to be hardcore or uh, problematic or anything. I just want to set expectations for it much appreciated Izzy yes thank you um, very much Izzy. yeah anytime I had a couple more features that um, premium plus will have um, you'll be able to join um, 140 groups as opposed to the current 70 limit for for premium and 42 for basic uh, there will be an offline message cap of 160 messages which is double the current um, premium plus accounts will also be able to have two land experiences rather than one. Uh, group creation for Premium Plus members will cost 10 Lindens as opposed to 100 Lindens. There will also be no fee for texture, animation, or sound uploads. Uh, still a little TBD yet on mesh upload price changes form. And ES has already mentioned in the chat um, the cost for Premium Plus uh, is $29 monthly or uh, $249 annually, which works out to about twenty seventy five per month. And yeah, there's more details on, on it all at um, the blog. Or there will be uh, coming out next day or two. Any questions so far? I have one. Would you prefer it in text? Which oh, either way. Prefer. Yeah. So I know that Patch um, said that the pro rating and grandfather stuff is still in the works. Is that something that's still on the radar for you guys, or is that something that is still very much a in in the brain, but not um, finalized yet. I know for my part, I haven't heard any updates, so I think it's still way above uh, the level that it would start uh, hitting us for information on.
Sam, I don't have any information on that at this point. Um, I know that it's being discussed, but I really don't have anything. And I'll go ahead and move on to the next part of the announcement, which was event regions. Now these are an enhanced lens product taking advantage of some of the new AWS features that um, we have at our ready disposal. Uh, event regions will feature a maximum avatar limit of 175 visitors versus the 100 maximum uh, that you currently see in the state regions. Um, there will also be extended chat ranges, uh, instancing, rollbacks as a service, and an enhanced script performance. And right now, uh, event regions are currently priced at $599 with no additional set of fee. Keep in mind that there still are uh, terms and whatnot for those rollbacks, uh, so uh, we will obviously still err on the side of uh, content safety. I would also want to add on the event regions, um, check out SLB because uh, you might see those are running on the event regions as well, and you'll get a good idea of how they work. And send, that's a good question. Well, we'll see. Um, we'll see how things go after you know, this is the initial release. Um, we'll see how that, if we do some more with the event regions, maybe different tiers of them or something. Also a question that came up quite a few times once the event regions were starting to be talked about, this is not getting rid of, or at least there's currently no plan to get rid of the temporary placement onto an event host uh, because you're running an event. It doesn't, won't give you any extra um, capabilities in the region, but if you're expecting be, to be working within those capabilities but pushing the envelope a bit, uh, that might give you the extra. But that's like for a one-day or two-day kind of a situation where we just move you to an event host. But that, like I said, it's a very different thing than these event regions. Is there any chance event regions will be covered under uh, education nonprofit? So if they want to run an event on an event region, the pricing structure will work for that or not? I will make an ask, but I have not actually heard anything about that yet. Thank you. I have a off that subject question when this is a good time. By all means. Go for it. Um, I'm ancient, as you probably know, and I used to use beta all the time for testing things that I felt were unsafe in the main grid. Um, any chance that that access is going to get restored anytime soon? Because I know that beta is half the time unavailable. It should now be available. Uh, perhaps you need uh, need your account recopied over, though. We can do that for you. I appreciate it, because I really don't want to risk the main grant. <laughs> I understand. I'll put a request in for you. Thank you. Hey, 
Jenna, glad to see you. Yes, we are, uh, as Jenna mentioned, we are aware of uh, an issue with the uh, the syncing. Uh, inventory is not fully copying over, so we've gathered a lot of information and sent that to our engineers uh, to review and uh, hopefully roll out a fix. But if you're experiencing any issue with uh, uh, beta grid logging in or once you're in, you'll notice that syncing is um, not fully lining up to what you uh, know is on your main grid. Uh, definitely get a hold of us and send us the information. And we'll add that onto the bug report that we've already been compiling the data in. What is the best way to file that ticket under this current scheme? Is there a beta grid option added to the lit drop-downs now? Account um, issues? Uh, yeah, login you can issues. use inventory issues. Yeah, either well. technical questions, login, yeah. OK, I just didn't want it getting Rerouted into a place that they're like, huh? <laughs> Generally, if they get misrouted, they'll get we'll, we'll we'll get it where it needs to go. So as long as close, you choose, we'll find it. Yeah, as long as you choose technical questions, that will pretty much route it to our attention, anyways. And anything under technical questions, um, with the summary, we'll 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 know where it goes from there. Also, our teams are much more cross-communicative than ever before, so we were usually really good at getting a ticket to the right place rather than it, you know, finding a black hole. That's yeah, awesome. We pretty much talk to anyone except Izzy. Yeah, they just cry when I uh, pop up. Hey, Adam, on your question, um, I haven't heard of any change to how uh, the company operates. As you're well aware, a lot of us are working um, uh, as moon labbers, um, but yeah, anything changes would probably be mentioned in our featured news or through the blog from, you know, a uh, more authoritative voice. <laughs> yeah, no worries. Oh, sorry to hear, Adam. I know some companies are making it very public that they want people back in the office or else, um, but we're not aware of any changes here. Yeah, I think it's important also to note that there were a large number of us in the company that were working remotely uh, long before uh, any of the pandemic lockdowns, uh, and certainly before our company went uh, fully remote. Um, yeah, there are Pretty much all of us are still working out of our home offices at this point. Um, you know, and that doesn't show any signs of changing for us as far as we know. So, yeah, we've always, I mean, I've, I've always been a moon labber uh, as long as I've been with the company. Same. Mostly same, but with a brief period of not. I uh, hope I pronounced your uh, name right. Um, the 2048 Linden Homes, um, from what we understand, and Izzy can, can that touch on, that should be exclusive to Premium Plus um, members only. Um, again, I would probably wait for the full documentation that's going to be coming out. Uh, but as we understand from the announcement, uh, as it is right now, 2048 will just be for Premium Plus. It's a benefit for them. Um, I concur with that as far as I've been told that it is yeah. just for uh, Premium Plus. At some point, maybe it would get opened, um, you know, to a regular premium uh, account who wants to then go, you know, up in the tier level. But so far, the plan is just to go ahead and uh, uh, be just for the premium pluses.
Right. Right, Hetty. Hetty, everything at Linden always goes exactly as planned. <laughs> A totally for a uh, for a thirty k upgrade region, it's uh, thirty thousand. is open to questions. Uh, thank you for the engagement so far. Any questions you have lingering, throw it our way. I wanted to add also, um, when we showed last month, um, the issue with all the offline friend requests and group invites is finally resolved. Um, it was an issue that came up when we left UDP support uh, sometime back. Um, however, uh, when you send a friend request, um, do know that the recipient will have up to 24 hours or until the re or until the region restarts to accept that friend request. So there still could be a chance you might have to send it another time if they don't catch it in time. Um, but they still will get an offline for it. Uh, we've also found we're monitoring another issue that has grown out of this uh, regarding calling cards, apparently not generating as expected. Um, if you have a third-party viewer and you don't see a new calling card, uh, take a moment to log into the Second Life viewer, and they will be generated. Um, they'll be in the calling cards, friends, all folder. Um, and we're working right now to get that uh, all where they need to go, so between us and third party. So that's at least a way that you can make sure that you have those visible to you. We're also aware of an NVIDIA bug. Um, as some of you may have noticed, uh, lines appearing um, either on textures or maybe on your own avatar or things you own or around. Um, this has been reported um, by many outlets so far, uh, including us. Um, and the best workaround that we have is to uh, roll back the previous uh, roll back the NVIDIA driver that you have to a previous version in which the lines were not present. Uh, the good news is NVIDIA has also been made aware, and um, from what I heard, they have added it to their list of fixes. But obviously, since it's a third part, we don't know how long that would take. Uh, but it, it's good to know that they've been made aware, they recognize it, and um, it's on their list. Thank you, Kayla. Yes. And yes, if you have any questions on any of this or, or really anything else, um, please feel free to jump in with it.
It will be coming out tomorrow, U0. Well, in light of SLB 19 happening right now, uh, would you guys like 30 minutes back from your lives? Go and enjoy the festivities, and um, we can call it here if no one else had any questions. Let's all go shop. Yeah, let's get to it. <laughs> I still haven't found the outfit that I wanted that I wasn't looking for. I'm kind of disappointed. I still have another 350 shops to try, though. <laughs> Thank you, Oyana. You guys have an amazing day. Thank you, man, woman, for joining. Uh, we'll see you next month. Yes, and look for the documentation from Premium Plus. Should be on the okay, featured well. newspaper, right? We always keep yummering that one. <laughs> Hopefully it shows up there. Take care, everyone. Oh, in what way, Arabella? That was uh, mentioned uh, by Patch. Uh, previous celebrations, we ran a theme, um, but we have been kind of giving exhibitors more uh, creative freedom to, to do what they want to kind of expand outside of um, uh, the suggestions. So yeah, it, it could be a double-edged sword. Um, one, you don't have the same theme running through every, every, um, every store, but I think you're you'd be given the opportunity to see things that you weren't expecting maybe. So there's uh, some, uh, some spontaneity, as you will, uh, going through the, uh, the different storefronts. And that part's been fun. But yeah, I, I can see both ways. Hopefully you do find some enjoyment, maybe with the, uh, the live events.
All right, have a good one, everyone. See you next time.